Hello everyone, this is Elki and today I am asking you to stop avoiding yourself. Many of you may ask yourself right now, how can I be avoiding myself when I am stuck here with myself in this body with nowhere to run? This may seem like a valid question, but it is not. Most of humanity run away from themselves as far as they can and do everything they can to avoid having to face themselves. It is not a question of physically avoiding yourself, but mentally and more importantly spiritually. The mind and the ego will try and do everything to have you avoid facing all of yourself. More specifically, facing and meeting who you truly are and thereby starting to let go of the ego and its perceived personality and importance. The list of things that are done to avoid oneself is long. People do it by watching TV, being on social media, playing games, taking drugs, drinking alcohol, even overeating, socializing with others for the sake of gossiping, etc, etc, working very long hours, reading, engaging in politics, and so on. Some even do it by living in the past or the future instead of here and now. There are so many options to avoid yourself that it would take a long time to list them all, but I hope you get the idea. I'm not saying that doing the above is a bad thing or you should stop them entirely to just be with yourself. Everything of the above done in moderation and with true enjoyment is a wonderful addition to one's life. It only becomes avoidance when you do the above to not have to face yourself. In today's society it is called to not have to be alone by yourself and heaven forbid doing nothing. I know so many people that can't be alone with themselves. If one relationship ends, they frantically look for the next suitable partner and until that's the case, they engage in many of the activities listed above to occupy their mind. It is the strategy of the ego to keep the mind in control, to keep itself occupied and to happily engage in polarities like good or bad, dark or light, hot or cold, and the like. All of this gives the ego mind a sense of purpose and a sense of fulfillment, so that at the end of the day it can give itself a pat on the back and say that it has done so much and engaged in so many activities, trying to validate itself and ensuring its survival. In the new paradigm the ego has no place and the mind is used as a tool that it was created for. Therefore the ego will do everything to stay in control and have you perceive that it is you. Thereby avoiding the subtle and loving voice inside of you that is wanting to be heard. That voice that is so soft that most can't hear it within the noise that the ego creates. And it is creating that noise for the sole purpose to muffle that inner voice to a point where it looks like it is not even there. That voice is the voice of your higher levels, the voice of your true self. Some call it intuition, I call it all that you are. This voice will never try to get you to do something. It will never tell you what to do. It will just let you know what you can do and what is available to you. By now you may be asking yourself, what can I do to stop avoiding myself and to start listening to my inner voice, to my inner being? Letting go of all that is not me and stepping into a life of enjoyment, passion, exploration. Truly living from the heart and not the mind. The answer is very simple. 
stop running away from yourself and what you know is right for you. Start listening to this subtle, loving, caring inner voice, opening your heart to let more and more of yourself in, so this voice can finally become loud and clear. Removing the ego out of the driver's seat and letting your true self take the steering wheel. This is done by facing your fears, by releasing all the layers that make up so much that you perceive that it belongs to you, even that it is part of you. Removing the gunk and all the density that keeps you small, that keeps you stuck and running in circles. And the first step is to take time for yourself as often as you can. Time that is just for yourself, doing nothing, even contemplating nothing. Just you and your presence. Just you and your higher levels. Just you and the universe. Feeling, connecting, opening the heart and letting your true presence in. A time where you can let go of all the gunk and replace it with all of you. Letting go of all the density and letting in your light beingness. The recording that I have created will assist you in meeting and facing this magnificent, unique and very special being that you truly are.